Once more into the breach, dear friends, once more. I'll close up the war with our English dead. In peace, there's nothing so becomes a man as modest stillness and humility. But when the blast of war blows in our ears, then imitate the action of the tiger. Stiffen the sinews, summon up the blood, disguise fair nature with hard favored rage. Then lend the eye a terrible aspect. Let pry through the portage of the head, like the brass cannon. Let the brow o'erwhelm it, as fearfully as doth a gold rock or hang and jutty his confounded base swilled by the wild and wasteful ocean. Now set the teeth, stretch the nostril wide. Hold hard the breath and bend up every spirit to its full height. On, on, you noblest English, whose blood is fed from fathers of war proof. Fathers that, like so many Alexanders, have in these parts from morn till even fought, and sheathed their swords for lack of argument. Dishonor not your mothers now attest that those whom you called fathers did beget you. Be copy now to men of grosser blood and teach them how to war. And you, good yeomen, whose limbs were made in England, show us here the metal of your pastures. Let us swear that you were worth your breeding, which I doubt not, for there is none of you so mean and base that hath not noble luster in your eyes. I see you stand like greyhounds in the slip, straining upon the start. The game's afoot. Follow your spirit, and upon this charge, cry God for Harry, England and St. Fucking cuts out of fucking bed now! <laughs> <laughs>